Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? Why, well, you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell me. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. I like it. Fortune's favor. <sighs> Hurry. Best not keep Chevalier waiting. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> You irresponsible wretch! Uh, 
Viens, viens How dare you show me such disrespect? Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat her wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates now, you built rat? Ah! Not bad. Talk before I bash out your brain! We will find them and let them bury what's left of you. Keep an eye out, lads! The pals are still out there you. somewhere! That'll do. And how. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a little paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Look. 
Connor. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shane. The Morgan was enough. But she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Queen of Ruin Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. The Morgan was an old goddess. She's the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. Tops, gallants, royals, studs! Who's tops and royals? Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Virus? Emergency Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Please 
sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This on, chaos everyone. is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, to Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al Ta'ir ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Uh, okay, so I'm not 
not sure you were supposed to see that. Just, uh, you should just get back to your animus. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family. The wall looked happened. worried earlier. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. You can take your time. You're not too much more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Almost there. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay.
Can you kill without being noticed? <laughs> Nicely done. I am surprised. Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Top form, Shay. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Jay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. Killing should not be meaningless. We must use what nature gives us. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts... ...can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them... ...or none are safe.
Where to? Whatever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Crowd on every inch of sail. We only have one lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will end aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the Rus beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. He should be nearby, Captain. There, Captain! An English vessel! And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. Just put a pair of cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. Decisive. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Now's the time to go down with all souls. The spoils are all spoils. Put them all we can again. board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them.
sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We could spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. It's a shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony. <laughs> Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Captain, has the... get the mates free! Clue up! Clue up! What's on your mind, Captain? Run bit of business, that. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Ships. They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. Scalpers must pay. And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, lads across. What say you? you? Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Blues up! These are sticks! Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. 
It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where to? No charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Captain's Captain Cormac, Cormac. the mate sails into the wind! Don't lose! Let's get moving! New sail! Without all she'll take! Loose and catch the wind! Of sail, spread our wings. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Yeah. 
Captain Atlas, mate, sirs! Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Red Bank in sight, sir. Good hunting ground. There it is. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. You have to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. A blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package and find Washington. Lift out the gallants and run! Help, Shay! Break up! And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye. What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where are you? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. How goes your sugar plantation? Terrible. Measles broke out last month. When did you labor? Ah! <sighs> 
I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar caused. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet to Liam, because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Someone God called damn it. Better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. What a joke! Is that a shit mortar? That's not sported! Oh, my God. 
status. Taking a hit, Captain! The fog patrols these waters closely, Captain. Caution, Shade! Captain Mates out! Let's go! Gallant oh, trials! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on us. It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that. It doesn't look sad. He looks furious. He's struggling with the loss. Viola. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box, but to meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Herring, get straight to land! Brief it on top! Draw back! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Yafun nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends.
get me some speed! Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Treasure! What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone, or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. So something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now he's attacking. He controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the Precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship, or force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. The ice is breaking away! It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. It's an ambush! Halfway you see the under the fair! Smith must not escape! Smith must not I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Still within reach. Wind's getting vicious. That weather looks bad. What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shane. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him.
Not much trouble, Captain Cormac. Now we know where he was headed. That bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. I've got the precursor. Got the precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Chen. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Le Garfou. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was necessary. But, but nothing. Smith was a dangerous man, a Templar. And what's worse, he had the precursor box. You should be proud of yourself, Shay. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Wardle. The fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to will be there. The single Watson. James Roger's a bureaucrat. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. All sail, shall take it. Those topsails, gallants and royals. We are on course for a collision, and sir. I look down on Broadway one evening in July. Shale and chunks and I had it. No way you send it, my dear Annie. Oh, you knew your girl can she dance the polka. To Tiffany, thy tucker. I did not mind expense. I bought a two gold earring, and they cost me fifty cents. And it's a way you send it.
business in Albany, sir. Just a minute. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made an excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop.
I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. this Frank, you can figure out how this damn box operates. Stay with him. Oh, and as far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the detectives or the assassins. Oh, a simple task. For a simple man. Get ahead, sir! Short save! Get off the squad! We're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. 
Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research. I keep well clear of that place. They say that man messes with lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye, let's hope she demures until we're off duty. Hey, darling. You up for a pint? Sure, if you bring your mate. Well, that's bleak. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. I should hurry back to Franklin. We have these veterans among our ranks here. And yet we're... Goodness, uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. 
Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus est, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum. Uo tibi oferimus, fructum vitis et operis manum momino, ex quo nobis diet votus espiritalis. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Gloria Domini nostri et Sancti tui benedicans tibi.
Beata Nostra, sed fidem ecclesia et tuae, e amque secundum volumatem tuam, pacificare et guadunare dignere, qui vivis et regnas in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscu. Et unificatum. Semper vobis pacem. Precursor site. What do we have here? The artifact.
could God do this to them? God had nothing to do with this. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake, thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell is going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another Precursor Temple. I don't care that he's Mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Only one thing to do. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay! Good 
That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles... I cannot! I will not let this happen again. All oh, those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> Glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough, but I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. All right, Namsa. We don't know where Shay is or what he's doing there. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shay is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre-Dame. Shay must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Cette fois. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. 
Shea couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. Shit! I forgot! The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your Animus. And you're in! All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Great job, Nobskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus of some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well, if you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. to see you're feeling better thank you uh, mr finnegan was it sweet mother mary have we taken in the village idiot barry remember shay i'm cassidy and this is 
Barry! You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? How dare you! Shut up, woman! Oh! Leave her alone! Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Rings for your death! Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harman citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right gentleman? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Huh. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. will help us smoke.
Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern. Master Cormac, I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac.